All right, guys, so we're doing things a little different today. I am just showing you some meal prep ideas for lunches for the week. So first, we're gonna go ahead in and cut up our onion. Don't come for me with my knife skills, y'all. They are atrocious, I am aware, but you know, we, we are trying. Okay, um, so you're gonna throw some sausage into a skillet. You're gonna top it with your onions. I'm not putting any oil or any seasonings in here because when you're making a soup, it can get real salty, real just extra for no reason. And guys, we are trying to lose weight, so we don't have time to be bloated, okay? So you're gonna mash it all up together. I can link the masher down below. I love that thing, got it on Amazon. But next you're gonna cut up some potatoes. This recipe is based off of the Olive Garden Zupa Toscana soup. If you guys have ever had that, I love that soup. It's like one of my favorites. And this is actually my mom's recipe that I've like zhuzhed up for me um, and for my taste buds and to make it more of like a springy, summery kind of vibe. So you're gonna add potatoes, onions, your browned meat and some chicken broth to your crock pot and you're gonna cook that on four for four hours on high mine just yeah four hours on high um and you're just gonna add that all in there i love to use chicken broth because it's a lighter taste i think beef broth can be too heavy but use whatever you like y'all so then i season with garlic salt paprika pepper and oregano i love that seasoning combo it just tastes amazing and everything and let that cook for about three hours three hours because if you add that kale in too early girl it's gonna be mushy so after three hours add your kale let it finish cooking for an hour turn the crock pot off then add in your heavy cream yes turn it off then add in the heavy cream y'all last you're gonna top it with some parmesan and some red pepper flakes and you are good to go so this is the recipe i hope you guys enjoy and we are gonna get on to our next one Okay guys, so this is actually a short I have already made. This is my Greek chicken salad recipe, but if you missed it, I'm gonna drop it here for you guys. So you just need some chicken, you need oregano, garlic, pepper, just everything, girl. Parsley, you're gonna put some Greek yogurt in there with the chicken, parsley, and all your seasonings and a little bit of garlic and mix it up together. Totally up to you how you season this, to be honest. That's just what I like to put in mind. So do you think, girl, do you think. Okay, it's up to your taste buds, not mine. I'm gonna mix olive oil, red wine vinegar, red pepper flakes, garlic, thyme, basil, oregano, salt, pepper, put that all together in a little mason jar and give her a good shake and you have a dressing. Next, you're gonna take tomatoes, cucumbers, arugula, and feta cheese. Top it with your dressing and shake it like a long lost Kardashian. Okay, girl, just shake it, shake it, shake it. Then, you're gonna set it aside, put your chicken on top. I like to add mine with a little bit more feta cheese, serve it with some bread with butter and you're good to go. Now we are on to our last recipe. So you're gonna take some rice and sesame oil. Don't look at me like that. We are, we are browning the rice, okay? Don't side eye your screen, I see you. Next, we're gonna take some bone broth and mix that up to make the water for our rice. That's gonna give you a lot more protein because we're not putting meat in this baby. We're gonna add oregano, seasoned salt, roasted garlic, and then let that cook. We're gonna add two cans of Rotel and some black beans to a skillet, and we're gonna let them cook over here on the side. So this is a completely meatless recipe, but I love it. My husband loves it as well, so it's a win-win, y'all, because we are trying to eat healthy, and a lot of times when you're eating healthy, like meat can just be so heavy on your stomach and also some of us be reacting kind of funky to meat so yeah you can see the seasonings i use just add whatever you like add to your discretion y'all be careful with the salt though because it really can bloat you and make it harder to lose weight i have noticed like i will be so bloated and think i gained 10 pounds but i didn't i'm just bloated because i had too much salt so this is for my spicy girls only we're gonna add a serrano pepper now i'm wearing gloves because girl if you touch yourself, even after you have washed your hands 50 times, you still gonna get a little burnt. So just be careful, wear some gloves. Next, we're going in with the poblano peppers. I'm just gonna core the pepper and then cut it in half. And we are gonna stuff these peppers. This is literally one of our favorite recipes. It is so quick and easy to make, y'all. You can cut a bunch of these peppers and have them. For the two of us, I'll make it for like two meals. Um, So we'll each have like two peppers basically i ended up having to do like a second pan of this to make it work out but yeah y'all get the gist so you put your rice in then you're gonna put in your black bean tomato onion mixture and you're basically good to go at that point guys i top it with some feta cheese you can also use cojita cheese but if you notice all the dairy i use in this video is 
dairy free, right? So I gotta make it work with what I got. I honestly would say use cojita cheese. It tastes way, way better. But this feta cheese, she does the trick. She gives the vibes. I don't have an ending clip, sorry y'all, but this is what it looks like. Bake it at 350 for like 30 minutes and you are good to go. I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you in the next one. You see her walking down the boulevard. She got the posture of